Hi Leo, this is Eileen from Northern Light Tarot. So this is your January 2021 love reading. So right now I'm going to change the screen so that you have a much closer up view of the cards. Okay, so Spirit Guides and the Universe, please can you channel your energies through me and into the cards for this reading for Leo. Thank you so much. So I'm going to undertake a Celtic cross reading for you using the Rider Waite deck here. I'll also take cards from each of these decks, the Wisdom of the House of Night deck and the Lover's Oracle deck. Just for a moment, I'm going to place these cards aside so I can go ahead and shuffle this deck several times now. So this is your love reading. Um, so this is a Celtic cross, so it looks into your past, it looks into your present, and it looks into your future regarding the love energies for January 2021. Okay, so now I'm going to split this deck. We have the Hanged Man and the Seven of Swords. So, immediately, um, what I'm getting here is that you could have, you could have been waiting. Okay, um, I get the energy that there's, there's a feeling for you that there's been. A, a lost opportunity here okay um it may feel as though somebody was literally stolen from you an opportunity to be with somebody um yeah let's carry on let's take a card from each of these oracle decks The energy with the hanged man is to literally just, it's kind of like, sometimes it's okay to not be taking any action here, okay? Because um, the hanged man sits there comfortably, okay? So let's, let's take a look right at the center of the reading the hermit energy you could literally be dealing with a virgo um you don't need to be the, the the hermit energy is about having you you may well be feeling as though you've literally learned everything you need to know regarding a person from your past okay you actually may have been treated not well at all by somebody from your past and it may feel as though it's taken a lot of time to move beyond them okay um the high priest s and the nine of cups let's take these surrounding energies the eight of swords in your external the two of swords in your hidden subconscious and the eight of wands so okay i feel that for some of you some somebody who you thought was not going to return okay um is actually just gonna contact you out of the blue here okay um we've got the nine of cups in the past position so th this could be somebody that you you were, you were almost there with them you were almost there okay um the nine of cups is one step away from the ten. Um, you, I feel like you have not reached out to them with this eight of swords. Um, I feel like you've you've definitely done a lot of inner work here with this hermit energy and two of swords. You've been weighing this up. It's. I feel like you've been waiting for things to come to light. You. You know that things are hidden. You know that somebody is 
hiding their true feelings for you. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, or an earth sign, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What I'm getting here, okay, is there's something, you're gonna find something out, okay? Or there's, there's, some, there's some energy here coming towards you in January. It's, it's very unexpected. I feel like whoever this is from the past, who it's kind of like you, you've done all the thinking you're gonna do about them and you've, you've put them inside a little box inside of your head and you've closed the door. You've done all the thinking you're gonna do now. You know that it was wrong. Um, you know that it was unfair. Uh, this, this is what's coming back towards you, this person, okay? It's very, very unexpected. And you are definitely going to feel like you're going to feel good about this. I'm also getting that there's, there's this energy Okay, it's like another scenario now. Um, that you you haven't dared to believe that this person feels the same way as you, but actually they do. You two could literally start a relationship in January. Let's take another card for the future position. Okay, five of pentacles. There's a, a real depth of feeling between you two. Let's take a card for the past position for that. Yeah, two of pentacles. There's love here, okay? Whatever your scenario, okay? I get the energy that you two were almost there. And then something could have literally gone wrong. Something's gone off at a really weird angle here. Um, and you two are now missing each other. And there's kind of like a facade, okay? There's, there's definitely in this reading for you, Leo, in January, feelings being hidden, okay? But then something, someone says, oh my goodness, I've missed you. Oh, oh my goodness, do you know how much I care about you? Oh, it's been so long since I've seen you. This could just, this could be somebody, yeah, that you've literally never, literally been in a connection with and then your eyes lock. And it's kind of like all the missing pieces of the puzzle fall into place and there's a real open, honest conversation happening here between two people who've desperately missed each other. Let's keep going. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This could be someone you were in a long-term connection with. Um, you two get back together. It, yeah, and it's really unexpected, but it's really passionate as well. Um, let's take a look. Four of Pentacles. Um, so this is about... Oh, my goodness. The Six of Cups. I was going to say it's about kind of locking it down. It's securing it. Something for some of you, like literally, you are, you are literally flying into this connection at like a rapid speed. It's kind of like it shifts dramatically here. Okay. You are holding on to each other tightly. Okay. Um king of swords so this is all this is about the fact that it's kind of like that inescapable energy of always this person's like they've always been there in your mind okay they're always in there um yeah four of wands oh my goodness so yeah somebody from your past who who it's kind of like you 
you didn't feel there was a possibility here but there's some astonishing kind of energy coming in here okay uh let's take a look so acceptance is the key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there is no point trying to change that was which is beyond our control because yeah because it's about this is all coming to you so for you now it's it's time to release it and let it free let it be free and that's when you get this really unexpected communication and things could ramp up really quite rapidly and we have the card of grove which is so similar to this four of wands energy so i feel like it's for, for many of you it could literally be a blast from the past but it's somebody that you could never ever release who's coming back towards you here okay um so uh, i'll leave the reading there i really hope that you found it helpful if you did if you subscribe then you'll catch my next reading okay then bye